All right, everything's in. All right. So we're running. Oil pressure's good. Governor lights on, which means my governor's off. Clutch lights. Cl my clutch lights still on, meaning the clutch is engaging. We'll wait for that to turn off. Bring it up to 75%. The engines are all. Everything's in the green. So we'll go ahead and do a mag check and spy clutch check and uh, make sure my radio's turned up here. So I'm gonna do the squelch. And we'll just do, see how things go. Up 75%, check my max, same thing as a 44. One click left, good drop, no stumbling. Two clicks left, two clicks right. Alrighty. Let's buy a clutch. It's good. Friction's come off. Get my GPS plugged in here. Gatlinburg, I'm at Downtown Island right now, 18 miles away. Governor comes on. And Downtown Island traffic, helicopter 8046 Echo will be taken off from the ramp, departing out to the east directly, downtown. Alrighty, here we go. Raise the collective, eyes outside. More, more collective rays, more left pedal with the compensation of the torque. Eyes outside, just feel it, bounce it off the ground. There we go. Clear tail, make sure everything's clear before you just start zooming down the taxiway. Let's go have some fun. ETL right there, blow through that. Turbo prop, that's cool. Alright, we're gonna be contacting Knoxville. I like getting flight following. It's kind of like a big brother, except for not in the government type of thing. It's always nice to have nice to know that if something happens there's not there for the one two three base for it. And helicopter four six echoes eastbound at the Cessna on base and silo, probably uh, here, 9 o'clock low, no factor. Yeah, we got you back down. All right, roger. Well, I like contacting Knoxville because it's a good idea. If something happens, they know exactly where you are, so... I'll switch it over to 118.0, tune it into my GPS, my little Garmin 430. Pull max 23 inches. I like 23 inches, it's an easy, safe, manifold pressure. And that gets it at point A to point B a lot faster. So we're on contact Knoxville. Request flight following. See how it goes. Knoxville approach. Helicopter 8046 Echo. Helicopter 46 Echo. Yes, sir. Helicopter 46 Echo is just off of downtown. Would like to uh, get flight following back over to Gatlinburg. Helicopter 46 Echo 0344. All right, Roger. 0344 for Helicopter 46 Echo. So we squawked, 0344, four. our transponder turned back to ALT. And we'll know that they see us when they say helicopter 4 6 echo radar contact. And then they'll also give me a, uh, the local altimeter setting. That's what they should do. Find your rock hoy off to the northeast of us. Helicopter 46 Echo is ready to come and take two miles southeast to uh, downtown 1800, not south, him at a 3009. Alright, 3009, or 46 Echo. So, whenever they come back to you after a radar contact acknowledgement, you know, there's no real need to say, you know, alright, radar contact, two miles, all this. You just, they, all they want to know that you know is that they see you and that you have the correct altimeter setting. All right, we're going to talk about selling with power uh, because someone requested me to explain selling with power a little bit more in detail. Um, so selling with power is actually where you get the aircraft settling into its own downwash, its own dirty air. Um, circumstances where this can happen would be on a steep approach, trying to land with a downwind, um, aggressive maneuvering for like a photo flight, which I just did. Big Deco, traffic at 11 o'clock in about a mile, Pat Metsu, unknown, looks like he is uh, eastbound.
Alright, Roger, uh, helicopter 46 Echo will be looking for you down at the aircraft inside. And 46 Echo, disregard that traffic, he's, uh, he's high on a different code. Alright, right to that. Alright, someone else said, uh, was around here. Okay, so, uh, so we're fleet off the airspeed, maintain the altitude. We're gonna look for a 300 foot per minute descent or greater while pulling power. Selling with power is induced. You'll get into even more selling with power if you um, if you pull more lift, pull more collective, pull more pitch into the blade. Okay. All right, squawking VFR helicopter four seconds. All right, squawking VFR. They didn't want to hold on to me today. You need three things for selling with power. You need to have a descent rate greater than 300 feet per minute. You have to be producing lift, meaning you have to have your collective pulled up with a good amount of manifold pressure. And you have to have an airspeed under ETL, which ETL can be expected anywhere between 16 to 24 knots. So, you know, if you are on a steep approach, the slower the approach, the better. And if you have, a, if you have an option, land with a headwind. So we're going to demonstrate it. Uh, once we get over a good place to demonstrate this at, depending on how severe you get into it, you can have this whole aircraft shaking and uh, yawing. Uh, key signs for distinguishing whether or not you're in something with power, your controls will get really mushy. They'll start yawing and just, it'll be really hard to control. So the, re the recovery process would be to lower the collective and dip the nose forward to get out of that column of air that you're pushing down. How do you know you're getting it, or three things you need for selling with power? Airspeed under ETL, 16 to 24 knots, um, or below that. Descent rate greater than 300 feet per minute, and you have to be producing power. Now the three, the, the steps to get yourself out of selling with power would be to lower the collective and dip the nose forward to get out of that column of air. So we're going to do this right over the airport. We're going to do it with the down, we're going to do it with the uh, tailwind. A lot easier to get into it. They're looking for mushiness of controls, descent rate, accelerating past 300 feet per minute. Now I'm white, so it's going to be harder for me to, to induce this. So, all right. Hey, Gatlinburg traffic. Look up to 46 Echo, right downwind for 28 Gatlinburg. All right, so we are going to be We're going to ease the side with back, controlling our altitude, maintaining this altitude. Keep your eyes outside, be on top of your pedals as you bleed off this airspeed, because this can get a little hairy. Eyes outside, feel it, listen for it, listen. See it? A little, a little mushy. I'm going to lower the collective, sink the nose, and pull as much power as you can to stop your rate of descent. That's the goal. Most likely when you're going to get into this, you're not going to be, you know, a thousand feet above ground. We're going to do a 180 auto. Let's see how this looks. Gatlinburg traffic, helicopter 46 Echo, turning right face to the final midfield for 2-8 Gatlinburg. 3-2-1.